Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your Bible and turn with me over to 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Today we'll be looking at verse number 24. Get a cup of hot coffee and let's sit together as we have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. What better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and getting into the pages of God's precious word. Well, friend, over in 1 Corinthians chapter number 9, verse number 24, the Bible says here, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled The Meaning of Winning. You know, we live in uh, what we call uh, a winning society. Everybody wants to be a winner. Uh, in just a few days, the Georgia State Football Championships will take place, and uh, there can only be one winner, but everybody's working and preparing themselves to try to be that winner. Well, friend, God wants you to be a winner in life. Uh, let's look at, for just a few moments, what that may mean. Well, first of all, winning means showing people that you really care about them and that you care about them with warmth and understanding under any circumstance. Secondly, winning means that you become and remain the best person God could ever have you to become. Uh, no matter what you may face, even in the face of darkness and what the darkness may try to do to you, that you just stay true to who you are and you're just a good person and just who God would have you to be. Thirdly, winning means uh, to win out over the darkness. Uh, winning out over the darkness isn't everything, friend. It's the only thing. We've got to overcome darkness, evil with good. Winning out requires that you understand what the great adversary wants for you is nothing but total defeat. Remember the scripture says, He like a roaring lion walketh about seeking those in whom he may devour. The scripture also says he's come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And friend, if you're a child of God, if you give him that power, he'll do that. Winning means defeating the darkness and putting upon you uh, a light like no one could ever see before. Uh, the light of Jesus. No one can extinguish that light. Uh, winning means defeating the darkness minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, second by second. My friend, being comfortable with yourself when you're alone means that you are winning. Being alone is not the same thing as being lonely. Being comfortable when you're alone means that you like yourself. Winning is having a peace and security within you. You don't have to be a perfect person to know love or to give love. My goodness, there hadn't been but one perfect person that ever lived on this earth, and he was placed on a cross for our sins. You can't undo the mistakes and the sins of the past, but to win out over the mistakes and sins of the past, the you can make amends where amends is needed by apologizing, by having a forgiving spirit. You can make amends with God by repenting and expressing your godly sorrow. You can win in your life by impacting the life of others in positive ways, no matter what, my friend, your own life may be like. We live in such a negative society that it might shock somebody to hear something positive. But friend, we need positivity. You can impact uh, the life of others by giving love, compassion, understanding, and joy. Your life can be a winning life when uh, you can, and you can be joyful no matter how long you live, no matter what your circumstances in life might be like. 
You can take on a winning attitude when you realize that you have at any age, under any circumstance, great potential. You see, the devil don't want you to see your potential, but you have great potential. You win when you choose to win out over adversity. You win when you choose to win out over any adversity in spite of the unknowns that you may face. Being a winner in life does not happen by accident because we choose to be a winner. You may never be able to be fixed, cured, repaired, redone. Uh, you you uh, may never have your body made new, your physical body. However, you can choose to be well even if you're never fixed, cured, repaired, redundant, or made new in your physical body. You can choose to have a winning life in spite of your present circumstances. If you choose to be well and choose a winning life in your spirit, then your mind and your soul are fixed, cured, repaired, redone, and made new. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to go to uh, Dollywood, and uh, they had the gospel music that was playing at Dollywood that particular time that we attended, and there was a group uh, there called the Browders, and I was utterly amazed and shocked whenever an older gentleman rolled out to to sing with that group in a wheelchair. And I learned that he had spent his entire life in that wheelchair. He was told he would never play a guitar and instruments, but he could. He was told that he wouldn't live very long, but he did. And as far as I know, he's still living and still singing with the Browders today. Why? Because he had a winning attitude. When somebody told him he couldn't do, he said, let me show you what I can do. And he continued to sing for the glory of God. He sang a song that brought tears to the old preacher's eyes, tears running down my face onto my cheek as he began to sing, I am blessed. Friend, you can have a winning attitude and be blessed no matter what you may face in this life. That's the real meaning of winning. Notice what the scripture says. Know ye not, they which run a race run all. Everybody's running, but one receiveth the prize. So run that you may obtain. Friend, run to Jesus just as fast as you can so that you can win and be a winner. Think about these things with me today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion that reminds us that no matter what we may face in this life, that we can still be a winner through Christ Jesus our Lord. Help us never lose focus nor lose sight of him, but help us stay focused that, God, we might win the prize. And, Lord, we're grateful and thankful for the prize that you promised, eternal and everlasting life, and a glorious heaven to where we can spend it with you forevermore. God, I pray for the one that may need this most of all, that they too may see that they can be a winner in Christ Jesus. For it's in his name I pray. Amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that. Be a winner today. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Friend, your life could be the only Bible some will ever see, hear from. So let them hear and see Jesus in you. Let them see that you are a winner in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.